Hello everyone, Jeremy says flying high here today with a little bit late episode of Team Area Combos. Uh, today we're gonna do a little bit something different here, obviously right there. Uh, obviously today I don't have my camera on right here because I'm just having issues with the camera at the moment. Uh, and two, we're, I'm gonna try to have an audio version of this podcast up and in the next couple of days there. so whoever wants to listen to this audio wise i will try to have it up there uh today we're going to be talking about a couple different topics right here obviously we're going to talk about the evil 2018 main line game lineup uh why Marvel is not at evil this year the three first three weeks of dragon ball fighters and then some fighting game news like uh, you must have like in those three weeks um I am flying high, and I'm, today's we're going to have Jayco Man. Hey, what's up, guys? Good to be back. Bees Blue 15. Hey. DJ Vest. Hello, everybody. And Boss Hot for about a half hour or so before he has to leave for work. What's up, guys? Okay, let's go right into it right there. Uh, today, uh, wait, Evo 2018 just got announced about a couple of days ago. Uh, At the 6th, so like... Four days ago. About four days ago, right there. Mm -hmm. And basically, they announced it. And basically, the the lineup is definitely very interesting. For the game. Um, basically, the game. Let me. Uh, like the games got announced for right there. Obviously, were Tekken, uh, Seven, Super mm -hmm. Smash Bros. Four. For Wii U. For Wii U. Melee. Three out of five. Okay, listen, and also Melee. Blaze Blue Cross Bag Tattle, oh my god, Cross Tag Battle, In Guilty Gear Rev 2, Injustice 2, and Dragon Ball Fighters. And just, as you may know, uh, like whoever's been following the, the FCC right there uh, has been known that basically a major the mess the major issue with the evil top uh, top uh, like you know evil game lineup has happened with Smallville's Captain Infinite is not in it because of basic like issues that we speculate might happen but obviously they can't give us a straight answer because mm -hmm. of issue you know legal issues that basically probably forbid them telling why the game's not, not evil because obviously they they would have gave us a straight answer if they could but obviously they could yeah they would mm -hmm. yeah they had they, they cannot say nothing why now so we had to wait and see you know yeah basically what's is that but we will get into like marvelous cock and infinite in a little bit right here so let's uh talk about edit what the games uh for that's gonna be sunday. on sunday uh it's gonna be tekken 7 Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition, which is probably going to be the final game, or Dragon Ball Fighters might be the final game, depending on, uh, depending on it. Uh, then we're going to have Guilty Gear Web Two, and then Super Smash Bros. Melee, and obviously Dragon Ball Fighters, as I mentioned earlier. Which yeah. mm -hmm. obviously right now, like um, the game that people will probably would love to freaking like watch right there, it will probably be you know either Street Fighter Five, Melee, or or Dragon Ball Fighters. Obviously Tekken right there and Guilty Gear will have a good amount of spectators too. But obviously Dragon Ball Fighters and Street Fighter Five right there are gonna be the main two spectacles besides melee. I so, feel like it too, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, those games. basically like, Street Fighter Five, Melee and Dragon Ball Fighters right there are gonna be the three main uh three main games that people are gonna be watching this year this Sunday alone if they're not like a uh, they're not watching already. So basically any mm -hmm. casual players out there that like I see that, you know, how big Evo is this year, those are the three games that probably be willing to check out. That says uh says obviously there's other games that didn't make it in this year that people weren't sure they're gonna make in, which is was uh, uh King of Fighters fourteen right there. Um, a couple mm -hmm. of indie games, obviously, that really had no chance right there. Um, uh, Pokken, Pokken, yeah, yeah, po yeah, po yeah Pokken tournament right there, which obviously had a big fighting chance to try to make uh, Evo last year right there, but lost out to obviously Marvel because we love Marvel so much that he helped get into the last year. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, like a couple other various games that got popped up here and there throughout the year. Obviously, there's also like other like. Other games, obviously, that are not technically considered fighting games, but obviously could isolate it, which was, you know, ARMS, maybe. You know, ARMS was it's like something similar to, like, a 3D 
platform fighter, fighter right there, similar to uh, Tekken, but more, basically more, uh, basically position based right there. If you want to know, I where's know. Mario Kart? Mario Kart Two, obviously. Yeah, but well, I mean, why well, I mean why you caught DS was at Evo 2016. Fun fact. So. <laughs> Fun fact. But yeah. That's a side cover, not not as one of the main tournaments. Mm -hmm. But yeah. back back in like 2005, the DS version of Mario Kart was actually at Evo as one of the main event, one of the main tournaments. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. says, yeah, I would say there's a lot of games that uh like could have didn't make it in right there because of yeah. But what the main issue that a lot of freaking the like community backgrounds was taken for was for Marvel. So we're gonna go right into the next topic here, which is Marvel. Uh, Marvel's Capcom Infinite, right here. Uh, not at Evo. Why did this game make it in? Basically, uh, there's multiple reasons why it could have make it in, but but obviously we don't know the exact reason why. Honestly, we, we people are presuming at the moment that well, I'm presuming right now that basically how bad the game did right there and how negative pressing that it's beginning by you know the casual mm -hmm. audience right there that. Either Disney or uh, Marvel, right there. Step Capcom, right there. Disney yeah. or Capcom. I think from what the one of the articles that I linked right here, which was uh, a Van House article that that uh, Markman said that it was a Capcom's doing to actually prevent the yeah. from being at evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was either either um, Evil's doing. It was either uh, like uh, Marvel's doing or it was Disney's doing to prevent the game to be at evil. What's most uh, likely Evo, in my opinion? Uh, but then why though? Like I understand MVCI not being at Evo, but what like really confuses me about MVCI is that it's not in Capcom Cup either. Yeah, I'm kind of confused about that too. You know? Yeah, that that. Yeah, yeah. that's also that's also an important thing to bring up uh, in regards yeah. to MVCI not being at Evo as well. I feel. Yeah, that is definitely a good thing because that means that um. The same, yeah, that might be partly why part of the way it's not Evo Two because it must be. Wasn't Marvel Three also at Capcom Cup? Like it was. Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it confuses me why they're not adding in uh, MVCI like at all to like Capcom. Cup. And apparently, I read today that uh, there's confirmation that it won't be at Capcom Cup. Period. Yeah, mind you, it's a vent house. They like to. They like yeah, to yeah, 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 I yeah. consider the fox of a. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can agree so, with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, to be honest with you, all this, all these rumors has started because of what uh, Mr. Wizard tweeted is uh, uh, about the viewer situation. Oh, you mean? No, I don't think he tweeted. I think he said it. Um, oh, he yeah, said it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or yeah. either I or no, no. He he said it. He tweeted out before. Um, he and he started saying that the game fizzled out on Red Bull. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. You know? I don't know what you're talking about. So yeah. I mean, one, one thing he's just looking for. He's just looking for numbers. To be honest with you, um, yeah, honestly, that. compared to like a majority of like you know the games on the roster. It's like Injustice is like gonna get a lot of views because of NRS and like you know uh, DC Comics and stuff like that. Dragon Ball Fighters is gonna get views because of Dragon Ball fans. Uh, Blaze with Cross Tag Battle is gonna get views because of uh, Ruby, obviously that yeah. series. Melee Smash Brothers is gonna get tons of views because, because it's of because it's Smash. Smash. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, honestly, it's like Street Fighter Five. Obviously, like still nets them a lot of fucking views. So, like, that was going to stay there. But uh, I have no idea, like, uh, why MVCI got brought up, uh, didn't come in because of its viewership or something like that. No, well, it's, it's, more, it's more the reason that uh, Mr. Wizard always hated the Marvel scene. Mm -hmm. always Did been bad. I mean, he, there, it's always been bad blood when it comes to Marvel series. Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Wizard. He hated uh, Marvel? He always, he, he always did hate Marvel, you know, and just because of the numbers, he always had Marvel as a lineup. Well, wait, wait, then so, who were the two people? Were the, was it the Cannon Brothers that loved the Marvel series, if I recall right? I think yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. So... so Right, right now they're looking for publicity. Now that Dragon Ball Z got in the mix because of the producer and the money situation, uh, most of the question. 
Um, another thing that Honestly. what really, really confuses the hell out of me out of all of this lineup is how in the world does Blaze Blue, a 2v2 game, uh, gets the main line spot, I mean, I mean the, the, the main spot, and the game is only like, what, a month away before EVO? You know, I mean, it's it happened mean, before. Yeah. This has happened. I don't get that yeah, argument yeah, at all because it it's happens, happened before. It happens before. It gets it happened. It happened with seven. injustice. It happened with guilty gear. It happened with Tekken for three years straight. So it's like, I mean, I, w I would understand injustice because obviously, yeah, the money's there. You know, they put in money. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Blaze Blue. I don't get it. I did have a conversation with Chris G about it, and he's like, well. Obviously, is more is more into the money situation. If if let's say for example, um, we gather up at least what twenty thousand dollars to put Marvel uh, MBCI in the main spotlight. Mm -hmm. Guess what, Mister Wizard is going to do? Okay, sure, we'll put it in because there's money. Honestly, honestly, I think the main reason why that game is there is to draw in the Ruby fan side because. All of those Ruby fans are like fucking excited for that game, so they're bound to get fucking views because of, you know, right. like seeing the Ruby characters like on Evo, like Grand Stage and like crazy stuff like that. And that fandom is pretty huge from what I've heard. It's like, they're mainly, they're actually the uh, vocal uh, majority who were like outraged about the whole DLC uh, practice for the game. De definitely right there. So so, so yeah, I think like the main reason why it's there, honestly, is the same reason. It's gonna get views because of uh, the fan base. It's gonna draw in. It's gonna draw in people who like Persona 4 Arena. It's gonna draw in people who like Undernight, a game that was gonna like you know get into Evo, but it never did. Mm -hmm. It's gonna draw in obviously people who play Blaze Blue, and it's gonna draw in the Ruby fan base. So it's like it's obviously gonna get like you know a lot of people like who enjoy those four franchises watching, and that's gonna be a lot of fucking viewers, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I don't know about the whole money situation, but, like, the road to EVO, I guess, is the reason why this is coming from, where uh, Arxis is doing, like, this, uh, this promotional, like, tournament uh, skit, I think, where they're, like, just uh, having tournaments uh, that are just gonna lead up to, like, EVO. I guess it's, like, uh... Tekken World Tour Capcom Cup esque situation for them is uh, the best way to put it. But I don't know. It's really weird seeing that. Uh, Mar uh, it's just. It's very, it's very, like, odd and weird, you know? Like, I don't really understand. I, I understand. I understand, like, you know, Marvel's been there for, like, the longest time. Like, I don't yeah, know yeah. how many years it's, like, been there. Like, it's, it's been. It it's been it's been there for like eighteen years since uh twenty two with uh Marvel two like well Marvel. yeah so that's like what you have for uh, what fifteen years of Marvel two or something like that and yeah. then seven yeah. for Marvel three and mm -hmm. it, it's funny how uh Scamby um Scamby he posted on Facebook he goes fifteen years of Marvel two seven years I of Marvel that. three <laughs> and zero years of MBCI <laughs> I mean uh, uh, he, he's right. He's right. It, it's 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 horrible. It's horrible. And honestly, I bet you, I bet you, if there's a new game, I mean, if there's new characters uh, coming out for um, MVCI, mm -hmm. there, Mr. Wiz is going to consider the possibilities to put it uh, put it back on the main spot. Uh, well, honestly, if honestly, I think it's too late for that. It's going to be very controversial if he decides to add it, like you know, in. Or whatever. Yeah, that's so he's honestly already like screwed himself over if he decides to add it back. He in. did. Mm -hmm. Honestly, yeah. honestly, I think the worst part of this, like you know, this whole debacle was the response after like MVCI not being on um in Evo, and it really made like in my opinion, it really makes the Marvel community look really, really bad. Honestly, like well, happened half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't like, believe that. Cause like. I understand that, like, you know, Marvel's been there for a while and stuff, but it's, like, they're having, like, this response, like, they, I don't, like, I don't, I guess it's the proper way to say it, like, the Capcom entitlement or whatever it's called, I don't know what to exactly call it, where, like, you know, 
It, the Evo is a Capcom tournament. It, it always has been. It started with like, like uh, all these Capcom games and stuff, and like people expect like you know these games to make it in. So when finally out of the blue, when like you know like the one Capcom game that doesn't make it in is Marvel Infinite. There's this huge outrage to like boycott Evo. And it, stuff it, like it, that. It's, yeah, it, it, it's like a shit you though. Know? I mean, you know? yeah, I understand like why the reaction occurred, but then it like comes to mind. It's like I've seen all these other communities and stuff like that, and I haven't seen them like you know have like a big outrage of like saying fuck Mr. Wizard and like you know all this stuff. I mean, like what comes to mind is like the Guilty Gear community, honestly. Uh, when uh Mr. Wizard uh fucked them over by like uh. Keeping Guilty Gear, uh, this was, uh, for Plus R, or Acton Core, uh, I don't remember, I, which, about it, yeah. mm-hmm. I don't remember which Evo this was, but Mr. Wizard cut this out because of some drama that was happening with, uh, Marn and stuff like that, so he literally oh. cut it out of, like, the game, or, like, from the main titles and stuff like that. Uh, with, uh, Marvel Infinite, I don't think there was, like, any sort of drama more than just, uh, the overall... I guess the receptions the game's getting, like, the reception has just been terrible, honestly. And I don't think, uh, the worst part about it is, uh, the main big tournament for the game, which was the Battle of the Stones. That really didn't end up so hot, either. It's like... Yeah, basically, it was because how it was ran. It had had multiple, like, issues running right there, mean, like, uh, they, like, were changing rules mid-tournament right there, changing what stones actually do... Or how do you use them? And how I many think, times yeah. you can use them right there? And and basically, it just causes a big old sit start. If it was like a, a, if it was down like to using one stone, limit one, like like doing anything right there, that would have been a lot easier. But basically, using it once per round, right? You know, once per uh like set, right there, mm-hmm. makes it like totally redundant, right there. Like honestly. But, like, uh, looking at the KO14 community, it's like you thought they would have been in, uh, the 2018 lineup as well, considering they're getting a new update to their game, which is, like, gonna be a overhaul to, like, the current game and add four new yeah. characters and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So you would have expected, and especially considering how, like, you know, insane the KO14, uh, EVO 2017 finals were, mm-hmm. it's like, you would have thought they would have brought it back, you know? Yeah, it's like, you know, you know okay, I well, for them. But when you look at, like, you know, the response, um, you know, what's his face, uh, the 14 community had, there's not really, like, that big outrage of, like, you know, oh, fuck Mr. Wizard, fuck Evo, we'll do our, like, you know, it's like, like, just shitting all over Evo and stuff like that. Uh, honestly, it's like, they're just playing the game, honestly. And if they just keep on playing the game, eventually they'll get featured and stuff like that. The same thing, I think, uh, if I have to think of a game that, uh, made, um, uh, what's a good example? Uh, I think, uh, KOF in general was, uh, like, the series that they just kept on playing their game and eventually made it onto, like, the main stage. Mm-hmm. With, uh, KOF 13, if I recall right? Yep. Because I don't recall, if, uh, like, KOF 98 or KOF 2002 ever being, uh, at an EVO, and I'm talking about, like, the like the last updates to those games and stuff like that well i mean it's ne- it's never been on the mainstream right but it was always a side tournament yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's the thing it's like uh, the support is there speaking, like, right speaking about that word side tournament i swear to god if i would have seen mr wizard right in front of his face i would have thrown like a red bull at him Marvel will be a side tournament. He's like, you must be out of your damn mind. Did you just say that? I mean, it, like, he, he just literally, he just literally buried the game. <laughs> He's the one who started the rumors. And guess what? Hey, I'm gonna do something so cool for Evo. Evo's gonna become anime Evo. Done. Yeah, exactly. No Marvel, and it's gonna be a side tournament. At least to keep the hope, well, uh, it keep hope alive, and so on. So well, honestly, even, hold on, whoa, whoa. even in given that uh, perspective, on we look at Marvel and the type of game that it is, or at least mm-hmm. the style Marvel Three was, that was an anime game, or, or dominantly it was viewed as a an anime game. Yeah, that's so true. Mm-hmm. Looking at you know, oh, oh, you know, let me just change the uh, like 
the 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 gears a little bit on this talk. Uh, but mm-hmm. given we just had the tournament, on, we didn't just have it. It's actually like two months ago. We had the uh, Battle for the Stones tournament. Uh, we were all waiting for some type of announcement to take place. Oh, you know, yeah. Whoa, yeah. whoa, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Yeah, yeah. On, uh, on, updates, on updates of the game, and we got nothing, right? Yeah. And even even when the uh, the the first version of the game came out and we could download the demo and play the game, people were kind of concerned then. And then we actually got the game, and then that was even more concerned, you know. And even now that we have the game, we have you know a couple of DLC characters that were. We people, did, are we, not, people are not really like taking the game you know to to the point where you know where everybody in the marvel community feels the same like there's people that played marvel 3 that just dropped this game so with all of these things considered with the dlc and you know the updates and even the patches not not really doing anything significant you know to improve people's perspective of the game uh, with it not being on Evo now, how, how do you how do you feel about that? You know, even what with everything that y'all talked about with the uh, with with how Evo is is ran and how games ultimately get on the Evo stage. With all of these things said, how do y'all feel about it not making it because of some of the other reasons that had occurred? Even besides how games get there in the first. Place? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Well. The main the main the main backlash that Evo got right there why Marvel was not on the game is because like even if I almost every single Evo Marvel was at Evo as one of the main games. Yeah. And even if one of the one of the, last year when the game was not you know, was a donation title right there. Mm-hmm. That was last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Which we like sold that as a community we wanted this game to be one uh, at Evo as a main game. And then mm-hmm. when the next year when the new game came out, when people were obviously still playing it, even though it wasn't as a big as a community as how it did right that it is a new game because of the issues it had, not actually like getting announced at Evo right there hurt Everyone. We know, we know that we know, we know that part about it. But the same with yeah, yeah, not that, only that. not only the the community having mixed, not even mixed reviews. Because I, I, to be honest, like even a lot of the people that I've that I'm even sub to on YouTube, they don't really show the game. Like, yeah, I, I think the hardest, uh, you know, pushing for the game, you know, comes from people like Jake O'Man, people that you know I've seen. You know that that play in these tournaments that I'm a part of, like that. That's really the only push that I see, that's and right. everybody else yeah. is, 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 is for the most part they're playing Street Fighter Five. They they're into the newer games, DBZs. You know, but the, this game, as far as the community is concerned, not everybody supports that view. That's so like, that's it's like what it's I'm it's saying. It's Honestly, it's besides, it's besides a- the story, besides the story, you know of what. You know how all of these things came to play, and even looking at the Marvel history, I'm just saying let's not even look at the, the you know the Marvel history. Let's look at what's happening now with this particular game, and not even how games get there. Because right yeah. now, this game isn't really being being viewed as a popular game. So with that, all of these things being said, does it really deserve to be at Evo? Honestly, not thinking about it with uh, what you mentioned, like Marvel Three being an anime game. Yeah. I think I can basically explain what happened to Infinite with much clearer uh, depth then. So, uh, have you guys ever heard of the anime cycle, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, whenever, uh, okay, so we get an anime game come out, right? Mm -hmm. We play it for a bit, right, enjoy it, and then eventually a newer newer anime game comes out, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone who's playing the previous anime game goes over to like the newer anime game because like uh, players for the older anime game are you know like dwindling and stuff like that because um, everyone's going over to the new one. So then you know slowly players jump over and start playing the newer game and eventually like like people just stop playing the older anime game like the sport for is just like gone and everyone just moved on and stuff like that. Uh, and this has happened like many times. This happened to um. Undernight, when the new Blaze Blue came out, this happened to uh, Persona with uh, Guilty Gear, and um, yeah, so on and so forth. I don't want to say it happened with MBCI because of that certain game that's at Evo, because that's like the hip joke of how uh, uh, that game uh, basically killed MBCI. Uh. <laughs> so, um, yeah. 
Honestly, in speaking in terms of how, like, um, the main uh, moral message of why this game isn't that evil really makes me want to believe Capcom looks at this and, like, he decides, you know what? We actually have to, like, you know, step up our game and actually make, like, you know, something uh, worth of, you know, quality and worth people's time and stuff like that. And go all out. Mm -hmm. And, like, go all out with, like, the next, like, you know, game they make and, like, you know, like, clear their slate, you know? They mm -hmm. have, like, too much of a shitty record. Uh, they went from Cross Tekken, which wasn't, like, you know, a bad game at first, right? Mm -hmm. It was a like, great it, game at first. Yeah. Like, after, like, the whole fixes, right? Like, they're, like, you know, fixing the game. It ended up being not that bad of a game. But they killed it with that horrible first DLC. rendition. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just <laughs> asinine with how they, like, handled that game. And then we got to Street Fighter V. Oh, <laughs> God. Do not talk. Do not the launch of that, that game was pretty atrocious as well. And we oh. can't forget about, like, trying to, like, look, boot up the beta for the first time and it couldn't connect at all with, Good like, day, the man. wonky uh, servers. Then we move over to MBCI with uh, the game... Uh, the launch of the game was... Was it wasn't say, that bad. It was pretty. It bad. wasn't as bad as like Street Fighter Five launch, I'd say. Mm -hmm. But I'd say the game was like underwhelming in comparison to like uh, MVC 3s launch. Because if uh, we compare Marvel 3s launch uh, to MVC I's, Marvel 3 had these insane like you know cutscenes with like uh, these like 3D animations with. Uh, uh, characters in this comic bookish style. Then we see like the game for the first time, uh, where like the game just looks fucking gorgeous with all these beautiful stages, with like a lot of new faces. Like compared to Marvel Two, Marvel Three had all these new characters we haven't seen before in a Marvel Capcom game. Yeah. Right. And then we jump over to Marvel Infinite, and like the uh, most majority of the roster is uh, characters that were from Marvel Three. Right? Mm hmm So, it really, like, you know, uh, like, leaves, uh, up in the air if they, like, you know, truly, like, uh, tried to, like, you know, give us, like, a good product. Because, like, apparently, uh, most of, like, uh, like, looking at Ghost Rider too, like, uh, comparing his level 3. Oh, uh, no, like, it's level 3 from Ultimate to Infinite, it's like... It's like, what happened? It's like... Yeah. Uh, that was my fun. That was, it's that was like, my it's not even like trying to <laughs> shit on that game. Ghetto Man started. He said, <laughs> <laughs> Ghost Rider level 3. He said, you know what? Yeah, that was a pretty bad transition. I don't even know. It's like, how did we go from Marvel 3 to like Infinite? Like, I understand. Like, honestly, it's like Infinite is so polarizing of a game to begin with. I wonder if we would have been like better off not getting it like in the condition we got it. Honestly, because I remember like PlayStation experience way back then where we got that announcement of we're getting a new Marvel game Along with the fact we're actually getting a like a port of Marvel 3 a thing We like never thought was ever gonna happen mm -hmm. yeah. And stuff like that like that like the moment that game got announced like everyone was like fucking hype I remember that one dude like literally jumped up popping off the fact that Marvel 3 was fucking coming to PS4 Xbox one and Steam of all things, and I'm like, we went from, like, all that excitement to, like, um, to, yes. like, this. This game is, like, just in, like, this, like, endless cycle of getting constant, uh, like, negativity and stuff like that. And honestly, the best thing to do, there's only one thing to do, honestly, and it's not to, like, you know, shit on other, because... Uh, it's it's an it's insane, honestly, what I've been seeing because of NBCI not making it into Evo and stuff like that. It's, it's been like, a shit song. Yeah, honestly, what the community needs to do: stop shitting on other games, right? Stop like fucking uh, shaming other communities for like you know like getting in because that should have been their spot. Yada yada yada. What they just need to do is they just need to do what other communities have been doing for the while and just play their game and like you know. Eventually, it like it'll like blow up and stuff. Cause remember, uh, a good thing to bring up in terms of Capcom game, everyone hated Street Fighter Three in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone hated that game, and everyone says the only reason people like you know started to like Third Strike 
whatever, was because of the Daigo Perry moment. If that moment never happened, people would not look at Third Strike, you know, the same. It's like, it would only be that, like, vocal minority who played Third Strike, yo, Third Strike's the shit. And you wouldn't see, like, a lot of, like, different people saying, oh, yeah, Third Strike's an amazing game and stuff like that. Uh, you get my viewpoint? Yeah, I get it, boys. So, basically, what we need for Marvel is, um... We need uh, the player base to like just keep on playing it. We need to see more moments like uh, Richard Nugent uh, pulled off against F Champ with that mm -hmm. uh, pixel comeback with his Dante against uh, Dormammu and Ultron, if I remember oh, right, yeah, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. We need to get like more crazy stuff happening uh, for the game for it to uh, like thrive. And maybe, just maybe, Marvel or Capcom might decide to make. Honestly, I think this is the only thing they have to do. They have to pull the Street Fighter V, where they have to, like, uh, make a new game so they can clean the slate, right? Of, like, all the negative press the game was getting. I'm like, pretty sure I'm pretty sure they, like, fixed the game, like, soon. Like, honestly, I really want them to see, uh, do an ultimate Mar uh, Marvel Infinite or whatever, but I don't I want them to... That. But yeah. I don't want them to make the game... I want them to go all out. I want to see <laughs> Ultimate MBTI be a completely new looking game like like literally like the game we see now right marvel uh -huh. infinite when we get to ultimate it's gonna be day and night that's what uh what i want to see from capcom if they're Good truly book. like you know dedicated to making like you know this game uh you know pop in the scene but right now it looks like they're just it's the sad part right now they're just like covering up or like you know Trying to um, make it all right. Game. I guess the next question would be, uh, I mean, because I think those are like really good approaches to have for the game. But from what the way it, where we started out at to where we are now, do you think that there is a hope that that can possibly happen? There, there's a hope. I feel like. Well, I mean, we're all gonna say yes. There is hope, right? But, but is, yeah. is yeah. anybody going to move hope? forward with that hope and make yeah. something happen? Yeah. So, uh, like, like for example, we have the uh, Pasadena Regionals coming up in July. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just hope people shows up and we can try to try to get something out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and, on your base, but here's the thing. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. Unfortunately, it's going to be too late because it's July 28th and 29th, and we have Evo the following week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at Twitch right now as we speak. Mm -hmm. Clockwork is is on Twitch streaming mm -hmm. a little bit of Marvel. We mm -hmm. he barely got 35 views. Really? Yeah. Um, I Are you talking refreshed. about? You talking about uh, the people that's that's present in his chat, or are you talking about uh, the I people mean, uh, watching his stream? Or watching his stream is twenty nine right views. It just went from thirty five to twenty nine now. So well, even, he, even, he, even, he, even, he, even, he, even, right even big name people. I mean, even big big name people. It, it looks like the game is just completely dead. Which yeah. I hate to say it. Big name people will do whatever they can to try to. Uh, Stream Marvel to keep it alive. Like, honestly, we have we have Clockwork saying that he has. Oh, look, twenty nine views done. Yeah. Wow. Honestly, the only person I think who would get Marvel Infinite views is Maximilian at this. Well, well yeah, Maximilian had a lot to say about Marvel. Uh, you know, you know stream. what? You know what's interesting about? I'm just sorry to cut you off, but with the yeah, Maximilian at the very, very beginning. What he was saying about Marvel, he was like, well, you know, people say bad things about it, but I think it's a fun game. Yeah. And then it's a the, very Evo, fun game. the Evo the Evo news came out and then he gave his broadcast on it. It wasn't exactly the same outlook. Cause he started to bring out some of the negative points about the game. Yeah. Um, Honestly but, I think the community also needs to like, you know, push at Capcom to like, you know, give them a better product, honestly. Because, like, you, you guys remember the whole Chun-Li fiasco, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Good old days. Yeah. I, I, I remember uh, that Chun-Li. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That classic uh, Chun-Li face where everyone was outraged. It's like, why does Chun-Li look like this? What the hell is going on, guys? What the hell are you doing? And, like, all the... Yeah, people don't understand. People don't understand that it's a beta. We're just testing. Just need you guys to try it out. No. They go straight to conclusion. Well, no, here's the problem about that. The game comes out in, like, what, five Nintendo. months? Mm -hmm. Like, when they showed off that trailer with that face? That was in, like, June, by the way. Yeah, and it's, like, it's kind of off-putting, like, if you say, you know, that's, like, a beta, but the game comes out in five months. Yeah. It's, like, what is what I'm trying to get at. Honestly, the best route 
it's like as sad as I, I want to say it. Honestly, if people did, it's like it, it pains me to say this, but I think we shouldn't have supported Marvel Infinite, like in like the first place because of like the state it's ending up at. Because like Capcom would have seen it, like seen it. It's like oh shit, this didn't give us money. Why didn't this give us money? And stuff like that, and it's like, it's like asinine, they're like, you know, going to be paid for, like, giving us a product that, you know, doesn't deserve, like, you know, the monic- Thankfully, it wasn't named Marvel vs. Capcom 4. <laughs> Thankfully, it was not yeah. named Marvel vs. Capcom 4, otherwise, it would have been, like, a stain on, like, you know, the NBC series as a whole. Yeah, I look I look at that as uh, how Devil May Cry had the, their, their three games out, and then they had the, uh, the, the one game that nobody really liked. Or oh, that version of Dante that nobody really liked. Uh, mm-hmm. The Weeple one. And then, and yeah. then they and then they came out with part four. And I mean, uh, no, it was actually after after DMC. Uh, the reboot happened after. After but, four, okay. Yeah, yeah, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, but afterwards they, you know, the uh, yeah, they went they, back. They, they kind of claimed the rights and and you know they they're going forward with uh, things. Of, you know, with the old uh, outlook of Devil May Cry, not that whole revamp. Yeah, they're actually bringing the old Dante back surprisingly. And Even though it's just, like, a port of, like, the PC collection or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, So, honestly, what they need to do is they need to somehow, uh... We won the game? Not... I don't want to say... Honestly, in my opinion, I don't think they can pull out Arcade Edition with the state MVCI is in right now. They need to go, like, um, above and beyond with what they did with Arcade Edition and do that for, uh, Marvel Infinite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, or what they can do is they can uh, sate everyone's um, what's it called? Um, Marvel taste by re-releasing um, some you know. They're doing uh, what the Street Fighter uh, anniversary collection where yeah. they're uh, coming out with uh, Marvel. I mean pff, Marvel Street Fighter Alpha series, the Street Fighter Two series, and Street Fighter Three. Mm-hmm. Right. So what I think uh, they need to do in order to like to bring back the Marvel pub- like publicity, they need to do a Marvel collection like that. Like, uh, not like or, Origins though. Not like right. Origins. But, or they can, or they, or they can just add um, Ultron on Monster Hunter. Yay! <laughs> oh yeah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, you know, sad part about that. That could probably work too and print them more money. <laughs> Oh um, my god, I'm starting to agree. To- oh god, I can see it happen too. Ultron. Yeah, yeah, Monster Hunter. All right, Marvel's alive again. It's like, Mo- like Monster Hunter prints the money, so I wouldn't doubt the fact, like you know, that would help them out. <laughs> I won't be surprised. I-, I don't think it would be at a at a at, at the level that we probably would. But I I think that as far as where Monster Hunter is at right now in popularity, mm-hmm. like <laughs> honestly, they need to like they need to support MBCI. As long as they can, but focus their attention on making, like, you know, a Make product, game you know. Mm-hmm. With, with supporting MVCI, are they going to lose money for doing it? That, it was, okay, it was, you know what? That brings was, up a very good thing, they were, too. They were supposed to have okay. a package for this, at least going forward, you know, uh, or the differences between, you know, the Marvel 3 support and where it came from, mainly the fans. And the MBCI support, where it's supposed to, you know, not only, you know, I mean, we, us fans, we're, we're actually starting to take a little bit of it. Like, we, like the fans expected to get help from the developers. Developers, like exactly. And then right now, we don't, we don't hear anything from them. You know, it's been a couple of months now, and, you know, the only thing we got is bad news. You know, honestly, um, honestly, they need to step up their game, try to, like, make sure MBCI, you know, has the the worst thing they can do honestly is like say they're making a brand new game completely right yeah that's the worst thing they could do for infinite right now what they have to do they have to make it so infinite lives like out for a little longer right so it doesn't look like they're trying to cover it up because uh but they have if they do oh. something to make it live, live out a little bit longer is that a cover-up in itself well, <laughs> that okay. You know, to be honest with you, I'm gonna answer you that question. Yes, it's gonna be a cover up, no yeah. matter how you, how, uh, how much you want to take it, or how much business or investments you're gonna make. Yep, it's still a cover up. Yeah. So, 
um, it, it just like what vanilla, and then next vanilla Marvel. And next thing you know, hey, look, Ultimate Marvel versus yeah. Marvel. It's like you know, and the thing is, people felt the same way with vanilla Marvel three and Ultimate Marvel three. Like they thought it was a cash grab, and it was. It was a cash. It, it was. It, it was. was. People, people were expecting Ultimate Marvel three to be DLC for Marvel three, but. Due to complications, that never ended up happening because of the earthquake or the tsunami. I don't remember what exactly it was, but there was like... It was, uh, the, uh, the, it was the, uh, the earthquake from Japan back in 2011. Yeah, 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 and that caused them to make, uh, apparently, Ultimate Marvel 3 its own game. Or oh, okay, so like in order for uh, NBCI to uh, come back from the dead, we need a natural disaster from Japan? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> No, but honestly, they need to step up their game fast because they're about to get stupid competition coming up. Uh, Tekken yeah. 7's about to get Noctis. Blaze Blue yeah. Cross Tag Battle's about to come out soon. Soul yeah, Calibur 6. One. Soul Calibur 6 exists. Yeah, yeah you, want, on, you won't see me on MBCI for a while. <laughs> Soul Calibur 6 comes out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and who knows? Maybe Sega might come in and go like, maybe we should make Virtual Fighter 6. Maybe it's time for us to bring that series back. And before you know it, Capcom's going to be, like, in this rut where it's going to be impossible for them to, like, you know, like, get the casual, uh, you know, audience and get their yeah. eye on, like, their product because there's going to be so much crazy right. fighting game yeah. nonsense. I, I just, I don't think, I don't, and just looking at the community from standpoint, like I said, you know, the people on who, who played this game mm -hmm. on one side and saying that, you know, it is a bad game, I'm not going to really play it. Like, I could watch it, but I can't play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. other people that's that's just saying, you know, like diehard fans that's just like, oh, you know, I can't believe this is happening tomorrow. I mean, I I think that as far as the support, I, I think it does need to be kind of unified where everybody kind of needs to, or people who who are who aren't who are either on the fence about it or aren't really playing the game that much. They they either need to play it or not play it. But uh, and looking at just the the community and where it's at and how. To me personally, because I didn't, I just asked you guys questions. But me personally, mm -hmm. I don't think that this game could come from come out from you know to a, to a position where people would want to play it, and yeah. then you get the support that would wake the developers up and say, okay, yeah. Because I think that as far as the negative press, I think that may be a bigger reason why they decided not to go further with certain things with this game. And if they do anything, it's probably yeah. just going to be because they they kind of just started but, and just gonna finish it maybe. the problem with that is like i understand where you're getting from with the whole point but the problem with that is there's street fighter to also consider right and in, marvel, yeah. in marvel 3 era right people were on tilt that marvel 3 wasn't getting support but street fighter was still you know getting like new versions new characters and but stuff you know like what there, there is a reason behind that because remember yeah. when we came out with marvel 3 uh i mean we there was kind of that whole dilemma of characters and you know licensing. Yeah, copyright and now stuff like that. now we don't really have that problem. You know everything it seems to be going right back to you know, Marvel, which is under Disney. Mm -hmm. So that that actually isn't as big. Uh, or not even, I wouldn't even say as big of a problem. That yeah. that side of things are looking up. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Honestly looking down well, well, I I think I'm trying to get the point of Street Fighter Five was also a game that had like you know very negative press, right? Oh, yeah. God, really negative press, but they're yeah. trying to push through and continue the, on the backing game. for it. And, it, and yeah, yeah, yeah I, okay, yeah. But with Marvel Infinite, right? It's like they just sweep it under the rug like it never happened. It, it's like I don't understand why they just do this. So like, uh, uh, in this day and age, the Marvel's the Capcom, oh, we made the game, it's done. Uh, here, just play it, and uh, eventually we'll make another one too. Well, how how long did the uh, developers take with Street Fighter Five as opposed to Marvel? I, I think that people like the developers probably a little more care and time with you know Street Fighter Five than they did with Marvel because it was that like I, what is it? Um, Street, Street Fighter Four. When did that come out? That was like maybe two thousand eight. Yeah, two thousand eight. Yeah, and, and November tenth, two thousand eight. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think maybe 2016, uh, uh, Street Fighter Five came out. And then so, I mean, on that, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I guess it's a, a similar, a similar gap in in some sort of way. But uh, I, I mean, but as far as the support for Street Fighter was always there. Because, yeah, yeah. There was no licensing that that needed to come from anywhere. They, mm -hmm. That was Capcom's own character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and but with Marvel, it's a completely different story. I yeah. Mean, 
and even looking at just the you know the backing for it you know it it could be stronger but that i mean i just i don't know I, i'm i'm just looking at it from a perspective like you know yeah. how how many people are just, like really just dashing and i'm not sure if like because even with street fighter like i don't i didn't think that the um the 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 animation of it was was bad i thought it was was pretty it was actually better animation than it was the previous game yeah you know and i mean it didn't really take much to patch that up mm -hmm. you know going forward right now like you know people people are, are playing it and enjoying it you mm -hmm. know but with this game i you know i don't i don't know what the hell they have to do because they're talking about it being a, an issue with funding and them not being able to get, you know, like, uh, like being able to do things because of the, that particular reason, you know. And if, if funding is so bad and then you go and you put stuff into the game, you know, as far as, um, like, promoting it and, and putting up more money so that, you know, people participate in tournaments can play it more. And, you know, and looking at it from that perspective, more people are supposed to be interested. But, like, right now we're not even getting that. And, and I mean... I don't know. Just looking at the, uh, the the differences between the two, I can't really say that Marvel Marvel uh, is the type of a game that that could come back from that. Mm. Honestly, what we have to, do, what the MTI community needs to do is uh, there was this one <laughs> this one tweet where um, the MVC two community walks into Evo, <laughs> steals all the Smash players CRTs, get the Dreamcast set up, and just like start playing. Uh, NBC too. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna have a lot of viewers, and it looks like that's the only way for NBC to come back from the dead. Honestly, NBC two could like um maybe get a resurgence, or maybe honestly, the best way the Marvel community could hand like handle this situation, they need to like um you know showcase like you know why they play uh you know Marvel vs. Capcom to begin with, right? They need to, like, mm -hmm. start showing support for, like, all the Marvel vs. Capcom games. Like, Marvel vs. Capcom 1, maybe 2, like, you know, maybe 1, maybe 2. Like, like go back to 3, show, like, you know, like, the awesome stuff about it. Hey, maybe even, like, you know, support that, um, like, what's it called? That, uh, mod, where people are, like, you know, deciding to patch, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 themselves. Uh, I think it's called Marvel. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 EX. And they're doing it along the yeah, computer version. It, that's how they uh, they make patches there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think I I just want to see it blow up, like uh, the Smashing did for like uh, their game. Uh, they played Brawl, right? And they like a lot of people absolutely hated Brawl because it wasn't like their uh, gospel that was or like their Bible melee. Melee, no right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they, there was literally a dedicated bunch of people that decided to make Brawl into Melee. <laughs> and so what I want to see is, is, for Marvel 3, I want to see, like, that bunch of explosive support that Smash gets for his game. Hell, uh, I think uh, Smash, uh, Smash uh, players are so dedicated that they made a new character for the first Smash game. They put Falco into Smash 64, if I recall right. Did and I want, yeah, and I want to see that kind of like I want to see the modding scene for uh, Marvel to explode. You know, I want to uh, like you know since like uh, Capcom isn't going to be doing uh, doing anything. I want to see like matters put into you know the community thing that, and if like you know the community is really dedicated, there's like going to be some people who like step out and like you know try to like make something you know amazing to like you know play. Mm -hmm. stuff like that maybe like they might do it in the form of like bounce pack or maybe we get far enough maybe they might actually eventually add new characters or new stages of hoo-ha and stuff like that in this day and age in this day and age that's very possible too it is yeah, yeah. so yeah honestly they just need to like support they just need to like throw like support from various scenes they need to throw support for the modding scene they need to show support for playing the game and they just need to, like, just play the game at events, you know? So, like, people see that people still play this game, right? Because mm -hmm. in the eyes of men, even though the numbers are there, like, uh, even though the numbers are there, people yeah, still yeah. believe no one plays this game, right? Like, there are many people out there who still believe people don't, like, you know, play Marvel Infinite. And, uh, what we need to do is, the community needs to, like, 
like show an impact like uh Daigo did for Third Strike. Someone needs to do the same thing for Marvel, you know? Mm -hmm. So it like blows up and like people's like uh they need to pull across Tekken basically, but not let the game die. Is what yeah. I'm getting at. I know the game mean. the game needs to end up becoming, you know, like a respectable um, you know, a respectable, I get respectable enough, you know, that people like, you know, won't say, "Oh yeah, this game's like pretty good." It's like it's a shame that it had to die though, right? Yeah, I guess so, like you mean one of those like indie games that, you know, people still have some type of like uh reverence for as opposed to, you know, like cross Tekken. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just... Where it's just like, that? I just really want to see, like, the scene just, like, you know, still be there. Just not, you know, m like, just because, like, I don't want to, like, you know, see Marvel on stage just because of namesake, if you know what I mean, right? Yeah. I think... I want to see, th I want to see the game there based on, like, you know, what they've been doing with the game. Stuff like that. Like, uh, Marvel 3, like, was pretty wild in terms of, like, what's been going on, like... We had, like, uh, very different. Justin Wong winning an Evo. Uh, I don't, I don't remember if Flocker won an Evo. Uh, Kane Blue River winning an Evo. Viscant! Viscant of all players, uh, winning the first Evo, um, MC3 Evo with, uh, his Wesker, Hagar, Dark Phoenix team. Yeah, <laughs> we have come from a long way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's like, just thinking about that and, like, thinking of, like, Marvel Infinite, it's like, just, like, looking at it, it's like, is there really, like, anything this game can bring to the table? It's like, what is it lacking compared to, like, you know, like, Marvel 3? It's like, why isn't it up there, like, Marvel 3, like, you know, back in the day? And stuff like that. It's like, really stuff that's, like, needs to be considered. But it's like, uh, honestly, the players really aren't here, like, the, like, blame for it in this situation. Capcom really needs to, like, do something like they did with Cross Tekken. So the game can be, like, you know, visually appealing and, like, good to look... Like, they need to pull, like, a KOF 14, right, in terms of support. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, everyone thought the game looked, like, garbage, like, hot trash when the game was first revealed, like, long ago. KOF like, like, mm -hmm. KOF 14? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, they need to, like, show support for this game. It's, like... Uh, they need to, like, do big patches that, like, overall change the game. Because I can tell you for sure, KOF 1.0 is a vastly different game compared to KOF uh, 14 2.0. And uh, stuff like that. There's, like, uh, minute changes that make such a big difference. Like, for example, in uh, KOF uh, 14 1.0, health was uh, standardized. Everyone had the same amount of health. In 2.0, that all changed. Some characters have uh, less health compared to others. And that was, like, a first for uh, KOF. It was a very big change and stuff like that. Uh, that and it, well, I, I, I mean, to, sorry to cut you off on that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Okay, but going back to the cross tech and in order for NVCI to come back from the dead, you, you just got to give away a car. There you have it. Oh, with a, <laughs> with oh, some man. Ultron, uh, you know, sticker, you know, those decal stickers on the side. There you go. <laughs> hey, there it is. The game will be back <laughs> back to normal. But it's like, all right, and, and another thing it, to um, to bring that game back to life again, uh, they need to uh, start fixing the patches. I mean, fixing the bugs. Second, add new characters in it. Third, someone got to host a tournament. Uh, uh, oh, honestly, I think uh, they need to add more stages and two. Honestly, yes, yeah, more stages. They need to maybe. They could try to do, like, you know, another story mode scene. Like, you know, another follow-up to the story mode because of, like, you know, that ending where we had Thanos fucking <laughs> shooting, oh, yeah. a Metsu, <laughs> shooting a fucking Metsu a joke in that death. So, I, know, I mean, I, mean I, I was, that was some OD Street Fighter stuff, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, so I think a lot of people would appreciate, like, the casuals would appreciate, like, a new story mode with, like, like, crazy moments and stuff like that. Or maybe, like, you know, more stages and uh, that jazz. More characters would help a lot because I think there's a big stigma on how they handled the first season of characters, too. Like, looking at the character select, it's like, it's really weird seeing how the character the final roster so far has ended up because the, the Marvel side has bleeded into the Capcom side. It is. It's so it's weird. Just, it's so off-putting. I'm like, 
why wouldn't you like put like three Capcom characters and three Marvel characters? Why did it have to be two Marvel characters? I mean, two Capcom characters and uh, four Marvel characters for the roster to end up that way. And it's like, what, are we going to get four Capcom characters and Marvel uh, characters next time? That? Well, yeah, we are, yeah. And it's like, it, it just confuses me. Mm -hmm. with, uh, where they were going. And a lot of people were like put off by that. Because like, I was expecting for some odd reason they were going to put your uh, character, uh, the uh, Black Widow from that wrestling game. The one Hagar was from. That's the oh, character yeah. I was expecting. I wasn't actually expecting them to put in fucking Black Widow from Marvel. I mean, I mean, they should have just put Poison in it too, you know? Yeah. I mean, po or, or, I mean, I understand people are saying, oh, bring back Sea Viper, blah, 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 right? But, you know, they should add some more Capcom characters that... Honestly, what uh, we need to that, see... That we haven't seen for a long time. For example, like, Skull Captain Mania. Commando. You know, yes. Skull, Ruby Skull Heart. Mania. Skull Mania would have done damage. Um, I mean, yo, Skull Mania would have been hype as hell. I don't think that can happen because uh, Capcom doesn't own the characters. Arika and Arika had to give the okay. And apparently, uh, they've been in a feud for the past couple of years. So, I don't know how, what would have happened with that. Or Sodom, you know, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, uh, maybe they could have brought back Marvel 2, you know, old Marvel characters like Ruby Heart, Amingo, or maybe like, uh, fucking Sun -sun. Hayate, or mm -hmm. wait, Hayato. Hayato. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, Hayato. Character. And it's like, some kind of, like, character that's gonna make, like, you know, the game pop. Because, ironically enough, my friend only bought Marvel Infinite just because Venom came back. That was Skips. <laughs> Yes, 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 that was Skip, indeed. <laughs> he literally bought the game just because Venom came back. It's like, that, I mean, that's what does it for some people, honestly. It's like, if they see, like, some, like, you know, like, a character they really want to see in the game, they'll play it. Even though, like, the, the game isn't that good or whatever, right? Um, uh, stuff like yeah. that. So, they just need to go all out with... They just need to show that they're still supporting this game, or it's too late. <laughs> Well, I think the thing about it is, what's the reason why they stopped supporting the game in the first place? So why they just, you know, you don't, you're not going to hear from them past Battle of the Stones? I think that's a really important question. Yeah, it's like, I, I don't know why they, like, even, it, it, it fucking pisses me off. They, like, literally brought it back just so they can do this all over. And that's, what, like, what gets to me. It's like, why bring it back in the first place if the, this happened? It's well, like, I mean, my thing is like, I'm, it's, I'm just gonna say it. It didn't really start with like the the community's support, yeah, or anything yeah, yeah. like that. I think it it all comes from that side of Capcom, I, in, in my opinion. I think mm -hmm. that as far as how they started with this game, and you know, not not even like the promotion, because I think the, their support was kind of there, but the product is not what people expected, and mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think for the most part people are like really happy uh, about it well i mean i'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you with uh, uh what you just said uh, <laughs> i'm a victim of it i'm a victim of it because yeah the product itself you're talking about the product okay the game looks kind of iffy right mm -hmm. but the collector's edition Oh wow. my god! Yes, <laughs> I am a victim. I spent two hundred and forty bucks just to get that hey, awesome hey, no You paid. You paid money to get Easter eggs. You can't take out of the box. Man, I could have just. I could have just gone to ninety nine cent store, get myself some Easter eggs, and get a little box. Boom! There it is. <laughs> Hey, right. well, I, you know what? Hey, were the figurines worth it? Were like the Mega X? Well, okay, I, all right, all right. The figurines, you won't find it anywhere. It looks beautiful. I like the figurines. I'm looking at it right now. It looks, it looks proper, you know. But yeah. the advertising, the box. I still have the box. The box has these LED gems, and it looks pretty sick. Yeah. But once you get it, I'm all like, what the it. hell did I? Yeah, what did I do wrong? What did I spend on? No, no, no. I'm just trying to. I'm just. I'm no. I'm trying to figure out right now. What did I do wrong to deserve kind of this? You know, it's like, did I say something wrong to you, Capcom? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I. I but all uh, right. Well, in, in my case, I mean, since I got to go to work uh, in in about half an hour. Yeah. So I mean, okay. So my conclusion is this. All right. As you already know that Jack Jackal Man and I we are 
hosting online series and uh, yes. you know that uh, I did post up the trophies and so on and so forth for the first uh, for the first season that we mm-hmm. completed it. It was yeah. a success. Everybody liked it. They know who we are and we keep you Marvel alive. All right. So, so what? This is what Chris G told me. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna bring if you're gonna bring this game back to life, the proper thing to do is just continue what you're doing, trying to get enough n- enough numbers, get yourself. Uh, a Twitch partnership, all right. Represent an or an organization or a a group that you're you're keeping Marvel alive as much as you can, and host a major tournament if possible. Mm-hmm. So and and uh, and what I'm doing right now is that uh, Jacqueline already knows is that I'm trying. We're trying to pick up the pieces, trying to work something out. To get a major side tournament for Evo, since Mister mm-hmm. Unfortunate Wizard. Wizard <laughs> well, um, wait, met, didn't he yeah. say that Evo wouldn't be hosting any side tournaments? No, they are. Well, uh, well, they said they are, and it's up to us. So in this, in this case, if it's up to us, I'm gonna make it happen. I will do yeah, whatever is possible. Happen. I'm gonna, make, uh, we're gonna make it happen. And, uh, uh, so, I mean, and, and I will bring, I will put, even put in Marvel 2 if it's possible. Like, honestly, you, know, bring, no uh, you can, I think it is possible to see it on Evo stream as well. If, uh, if the game gets enough views on, like, the jump out or whatever they said they would get an hour, uh, like, where they would give an hour stream for a top four. Yeah. If that gets a lot of views, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people's opinions on the game might change, you know? In comparison, though, though it has some competition at the same time with uh, what it's going to be like, you know, challenging with, uh, you know, cross tag fighters. Right. Uh, right. Like I that. mean, I mean, you know, versus 2018 that just happened. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I'm gonna be honest with you. I found it kind of boring. You know, I was watching the stream. And I fell asleep a couple of times. You did. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I didn't see no hype because. They they had an idea. They had a little uh, like a speculation that Marvel Infinite was not going to make it, and they were right. Marvel Infinite didn't make it. So we got to make something happen to bring the hype back. Capcom st- Capcom thing right now they need to do is just add more characters. Add, I mean, fix the bugs. I mean, for God's sakes, please fix the damn Spider Man web thing. It's horrible. But anyway, uh, wait, didn't they fix that? Or am no, I they, they didn't fix. No, they left it alone. I mean, they just they fixed fix the. No. no, they just fixed the. Um, the uh, reality stone. Uh, wait, the other jank with it? I didn't know about this. That's yeah. it. <laughs> so you're telling me the they just changed? Oh wow! So you're yeah, telling they, me it's, it's still possible? It's, still, it's still there. It's still there. So, but okay. they took out the. Back infinite, or right? Right, yeah, yeah they yeah, took yeah. out the infinite and left the Spider Man uh, web thing. Well, okay. But, anyways, anyways, so uh, I, in my conclusion, in order to bring back a game that we like to play and it's considered dead thanks to Mr. Wizard, um, we just gotta, we just gotta like invest. Yeah. We gotta invest as much as we can to mm-hmm. bring a game back to life. Yeah, and it's, and, and, yeah, and it's, and it's not from the company. It's from us, yeah. The viewers, the players. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, the, the players, the community. We gotta bring it back as much as we can. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I mean, Jackman, all of us here uh, that we're talking about Marvel taking an hour and a half time to try to break down the game and try to bring something back to life. We're gonna make it happen. We are. All right. So um, we just need, we just need an opening, and. I'm trying my best to find that opening and to get an approval for that opening, and we'll go from there. That's it. Fine. Nice. Yeah. Uh, then mic drops. Dude. <laughs> 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 but, 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 other than, but other than that, we're, uh, we're going to keep it aligned, doing online series, doing whatever mm-hmm. uh, sessions or casual meetup and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. I understand that Dragon Ball Z is taking all over, yeah, uh, all it's, over it's the views. Yeah, it, it's taking everyone. It's like why it's, now. Uh, no, no, but I, I mean, you got to understand there is a reason why. Yeah, there is a reason why. It's not because of... We've Disney never seen a... Ball. You know, we've never seen a 3v3 Dragon Ball before. And yeah. we've never seen, a like, a Dragon Ball fighting game. 
that's yeah, the same. main thing. We yeah. haven't seen a Dragon Ball fighting game in a long while. But not yeah. counting the portable yeah. handheld games. But yeah. Yeah, it's been a long ass time, almost like a decade or more yeah, since, since the last the, uh, one. Yeah, since the uh, Super Nintendo games. You know? Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, there was a uh, PS2 game called uh, Super uh, DBZ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that game. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's been a hot minute since there was a Dragon Ball fighting game and a good one at that. A really mm-hmm. good one. Okay. Okay. Before, yeah. Okay. Before we get into Dragon Ball Fighters. Let's do one more thing and talk about some um, events for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So if people want to still support the game, uh, they can go and try to participate in the tournament or at least watch it like that, how to participate, uh, you know, how to take part of it. Um, I think the most important thing I've seen is next level, honestly. It's well, like, actually, well, let me look it up. Next level uh, battle circuit, the yeah. NYC scene. Yeah, next level and Wednesday night fights at the yeah. moment. Yeah, because you know, also, the, the crazy part about next level is MVCI used to be dead there. Like, there were, like, before, like, you know, um, Marvel Infinite wasn't, at, you know, announced to be at EVO, there was only, like, two to three pe- like, people there for Marvel Infinite. And now, like, it's blowing up. It's making more money than Street Fighter V at uh, next level. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maturino. <laughs> And it's pretty uh, crazy to think about that, honestly. Yeah, I mean, also, um, what's what uh, what's his name? Yipes did mention and Persia that you know if Evo uh, didn't make the cut, right? We have a lot of tournaments coming up that it's a main it's a main line it's a main lineup. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah like I'm like I'm going to send Cal because it's just like about two hours away from me, so mm-hmm. I'm going to send mm-hmm. Cal. Uh, also, I do want to go to Clutch in April, and um, it's uh, amazing that Marvel 3 is still alive out of all these tournaments that they're hosting. And I, I really find that, like, crazy to think. Yeah, and know. also, uh, yeah, I mean, going back to the Street Fighter 5 and Street Fighter 4, you think Street Fighter 4 is dead, you should go um, to Street Fighter uh, Revival, Street Fighter 4 Revival, something like that. They have online tournaments and they have major tournaments and it's it's amazing. You know the crazy part you mentioned about Street Fighter Four? People okay. in Japan actually play that more than five actually. They play it religiously. There's like, hardly yeah, anybody Yeah. There's hardly you go anybody to playing Yeah, there's games. hardly anybody playing Street Fighter Five. Yeah, you'll see a lot of people just on Street Fighter Four cabinets playing that game. Because the game is great. Mm-hmm. It required math. It required for you to use your statistic abilities. Frame data. Mm-hmm. It's frame data, etc. Now Street Fighter V is a dumbed down good game. Roll your face on the arcade thing. <laughs> it's so dumbed down that it, 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 all I can say is that it's a user friendly game. I, I don't, I'm not going to go in details because we're going off topic. But yeah. um, in my case, um, uh, the, the tur- I think uh, Jackalman put in this uh, tournament coming up for uh, yep. for Marvel. Okay, so I'm the other yep, yep. list. Mm-hmm. What's, what's, All right. What I am going to mention first that there after this TLC around 7 p.m. there's going to be an online yeah. tournament that Jake Man is going to be hosting. That if anyone wants to join after this thing goes up, it should be up around 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to try to have this thing up in time, and also I'm going to make a note in it. So if you want to join, you can do it. But um, at 7 p.m. Eastern, right there, you can join that there. This online tournament, right there. It's it's free to enter, right, Jake Man? Uh, yeah, yes. it's free to enter. It, it, it's our tournament to today. You mean the one today? Yeah, the one today, yes. Yeah, Zerms, yes, it's our tournament. It's uh, Clash of the Stone Season 2. Clash of the Stone Season 2, okay, good. Uh, okay, yeah. so yeah, yeah, so basically, if you join like that, I will try to link, I will link it to that into the, like, into the description right here. Um, hopefully, you see it in time, uh, whoever is right, watching you. this. Okay, uh, but anyways, um, other Marvel events that's going to be happening like uh, coming in the next coming weeks is the lag still number one which is a event right there that's going to be co-hosted by Jacob man and also kevin ha that that's going to be an online tournament series right there that they're going to be doing for marvel and then we're going to have winter so uh, so down five which is a uh i don't know what's like is that a what's 
No, an East Coast or West Coast tournament? I think at the East Coast. Okay, it's an East Coast tournament right there. And then at the same time, there's going to be Winter Brawl 12, which is a uh, East Coast Tournament 2 in Pennsylvania that's going to have the game. Then we're going to have Sin Cal Central California Standoff. Then yeah, it's in Fresno. Yeah, Fresno. Then we're going to have CEO Wonderfest. Then Quest Duel, no, Duel of the Desert. Then Final Round 2018. Bravo Burst, No Cal Reasonals, Clutch 2018. Combo Breaker 2018, Undefeated 2018, CT, CT, uh, CTO 2018, and then Kumatai Kuma in Texas right there. <laughs> yep, with um, uh, Lagstones on the 17th, um, Winter Showdown and Winter Ball both on the 24th, and also Sun Cal Santa is on the 24th. Then on March 3rd, there's going to be CEO Winterfest. Um, March 10th, there's going to be Duel in the Desert. Uh, Battle Round is going to be on March 16th, Bavaria Burst, March 23rd, SoCal Reasonals, March 30th, Clutch 2018, February 21st, Combo Breaker 2018, May 25th, Undefeated 2018, 6 16, uh, CEO 2018 is 629, and Kumate in Texas is 727. Those are all the upcoming tournaments for the game right there, and obviously, uh, we'll try to like hopefully leave a choice right there, so you know like uh like where that's to do if you actually want to try to travel out right there, or at least want to know when they're gonna be on the so you can try to cast out the thing during the weekend. So, so yeah, uh, so let's uh, go to the next uh, topic right here, which is gonna be Dragon Ball Fighters, obviously the hot game, hot fighting game of the season right now. Which, yeah. Yeah, what's this, um, after three weeks, how is it? It's fun. It's really fun right there. Probably, like, the one of the like, funnest, uh, like, versus games in a while. It's, uh, even though, it, and, like, it's every more fun than Marvel Infinite, but, you know, Marvel Infinite is still a good game, but obviously you will have a lot more fun with Dragon Ball, Fi Dragon Ball Fighters. This is how, how, it's, like, basically so freaking fun right there. That's because anyone can really pick it up and actually do okay at it because how the combo system works right there and it feels freaking amazing to play yeah man mm -hmm. yeah it says, I, I, say, I, I, I don't I, I don't have the game yet yeah. i don't have the game yet but i'm gonna get it pretty soon yeah i i have it right there i believe dj vest has it and boss has, has it i believe i don't know if you have a blue blue, blue, blue at all uh, it says, oh, it looks like there might be it at the moment. Okay, so it's just only us three at the moment. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, basically, the g how the game feels pretty freaking awesome right now. Oh, looks like uh, someone dropped out, but that's fine. Uh, the game feels pretty freaking awesome right there. The game feels very fluid right there. Very feels ha so freaking fast paced right there. Basically, at the moment, Every character is probably viable. Every single character is viable. <laughs> Just because it's not like it's not like people's been saying it's not like Mar a Marvel game per se, where it's basically you know you pick a point character, pick a battery, and pick a anchor with it. It's basically that I'm going with what uh, Sinopharm is saying that it's not like that it's actually a point versus a point versus a point because how okay long, how long the assist cooldowns are you basically have to um uh basically like duke it out 1v1 style so basically think that as a as a king of fighter style with the ability to go into your other characters at a good portion of time with them with them hopping out every every so every so often during a battle Mm -hmm. Which is actually pretty freaking, like, pretty unique for a fighter because obviously, with the combo system in the game, with that, obviously, uh, unless you spend a crap ton of resources and you know the very specific combo right there, you will not get one touch killed, like, at all because of how the combo system works right there. Unless they basically spend all the meter and spend all the resources to actually try to kill you. 
which that may, that's a good sign right there. That means that unless they are like are no freaking sandy weed sets right there and you don't respect them right there, you won't die and you have a chance to play this game right there. Um, the game like uh, we set that neutral every single uh, time my character gets KO'd right there so that you don't have to worry about the incoming mess up at all uh, unless you get snapped back in. Uh, okay. So it's, uh, basically there's uh, other unique things right there where if you do a special move and you but you want to tag tag into another character you can do a special move and then, then do the motion for the character plus assist and it will deal see them in using a super meter so you use one bar to get them in safely or you can alpha counter them in if your opponent is pressing you so much with it and you have, like do an alpha counter motion plus assist with it it does a uh, alpha counter where if it hits the opponent right then he gets knocked away and basically you get tagged in safely but if you if your opponent blocks it then you get punished for so it's a risky option okay. right there but it's also basically so that your character won't die as easily as you can do um other, so there's other things right there yes you can know right there that you can uh says so if you want to like other things that you should know right there that uh got like, uh, snap bars right there are with dragon rush right there where basically if you want to snap a character in you just dragon rush right there then you basically Plus the assist button during the Dragon Rush and snap, so you can snap them out. Um, Meaties right there will probably be very freaking hard, very a very good thing to deal with in this game. So if you know, if you can time your Meaties questions correctly right there, you will you will get one all day because it's not like Street Fighter Five. If you get down your if you like um. If you get down your meteors right there, it's not like Street Fighter Five where they can wake up pressing buttons right there, unless they're Vegeta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. it says unless it's unless they have unless they're Vegeta or they have three bars. Because three bars, obviously, they that's the invincible hyper, so you can if you can use that to be invincible get their end right there. Which is actually a pretty cool idea right there, of having like if. I need to jump. Yeah, you can vanish right there to actually get out of pressure. Like you know, basically if they're doing. Uh, like basically trying to delay the boxings to try to hit you press the buttons you can vanish right there to like, get them out so, you know basically uh, get the character in right there to try to force them into a corner by uh, like, trying to have them trying to bait you pressing buttons and you like, can get out of there it's actually like some of the design some of the design choices right there is actually pretty fucking damn smart in this game but other things like that, the the online right now is pretty iffy at the moment. The online it, it, will, is it like pretty bad right now? Uh, it says it's basically when you actually get a good connection, it plays amazing right there. But huh. the server issues is very bad right there. Where since there, there's no uh like there's basically you can raise quit right there and you get no freaking um uh punishment for it right now. So basically people will, will raise quit right there and you like nothing will happen to them. Uh the you can't freaking do lobbies at the moment right now because how bad it is right there. You can't you can barely connect to anyone right there. So I feel like you can't do lobbies though. Yeah. It says you can do like when they ever they fix them right there you can you hope you can do lobbies in the future but right now it's I think they fixed them by the way. Did they fix them? Yeah I've been getting lobbies consistently. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, yeah, yeah, but I've just been having Harry King issues that lobbies are very bad right there. The also servers randomly disconnect right there to you right there, so when you get a game right there, there's a 50% chance of you freaking getting kicked out of that game right there. So making oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're making it look like you freaking race quit when you actually didn't race quit. Mm hmm. Yeah, what what's you know has problem? Basically, the main the main the majority problem right there is the online issue. The online issue is basically what is hurting the skin the most. But it's not like a huge online issue like um um like KO thirteen right there. But the online is freaking horrible. Like. But because when you get the online is freaking the netcode is pretty fucking dang good if you actually get like a five bar or four bar connection right there. They might get some a little bit of input delay too late to it right there, but it's freaking like silky smooth. But when you get like when you know like a, a two bar right there or when the like server says that nope you cannot play the game in the moment right there, it's what starts hurting the game the most right now because obviously since um not a lot of people actually go out to the communities besides like you know like breaking out know, players that want to get better at the game or people that um 
like that want to ask each other to play right there have no the recourse to play with people besides playing online and having a bad online right there hurts this game somewhat but the game the net code is pretty good besides that mm. yeah so um the, the game right now is definitely probably one of the best fighting games out there at the moment besides probably like Tekken 7 right there because I know Tekken 7 is like a pretty amazing a pretty amazing game um Says this game is definitely freaking like it deserves this place right there. How it is right there. Uh, it says um the week two tier list right there that or oh, I say week three tier list right now. Uh, basically, but at the moment it is not a uh, certified uh like certified um who is the best character list you know but you know certified set tier list because how the game is right now. There's a couple yeah. of well, like no, like like confirmed amazing characters in this game. Honestly, yeah. I'm gonna be really honest with the whole tier list in the game. Do not believe them. Right now, at the moment, do not believe them because I'm going to tell you right now, majority of the cast is playable. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying that the characters that have very good options right now. I mean, like characters like Cell. Cell is like one, obviously, like people are saying that he's one of the best characters, and I say that he is right there because he has very good combo condenser right there, he has a very good assist right there, does very good damage right there. He's just a very good character all around right there. He he can play, you can play in any different spot right there, he'd be freaking good. Obviously, obviously you want to be one on the playing, playing, playing point right there, or mm -hmm. like as a secondary character, but he's definitely very good. Then Vegeta, Super Saiyan Vegeta right there. Obviously, he has the best assist in the game at the moment, right there, which is basically an Amy Co-Star assist right there. That mm -hmm. basically is very good because you can get a send your combos easily off right there. It doesn't freaking, uh, it doesn't freaking um, scale the combos heavily off it. And he's also a very good um, like anchor character just because he has an invincible DP move that you can get the get the opponent off you if they was pressing you, and. Yeah, basically, if he has some very good tools, then there's other characters that are like up there, like Android uh, 16 right there, just because of his damage output, and also he's similar to Hulk, and uh, also how his uh, he has he's very hard to block sometimes. Uh, then we have um, Hit because Hit right there, like he's a very unique character how he's actually designed and played, but he is very hard to block right there, and how. He's very freaking good, but he's a very hard to use character, you know, use effectively because he has weird buttons right there and he has like no really good air options at all. But he, oh, okay. yeah, but he fucking can mix you up freely for day. He can freaking do like 50 50 cross up a day right there and he has like safe block streams or whatever. He's very mm -hmm. good right there. And obviously, there's like a build stress that a lot of people saying that he's very good right now. I just haven't seen really good play place plays of it that much, but I know uh, Goku Black seeing a lot of play too, because he has very good buttons right there, very good freaking uh, counts heavy right there that hits like, it has a very huge hitbox to it so that he can like enter you for days and like, and other things like that. Um, and like, basically like right now, like the majority of this game is, the majority of cast, like almost all this cast is playable. All this cast is like very playable right there. That's because how this game is. It says so. Basically, obviously, there's only a couple characters that I can very confirm to be good right there, uh, which is Cell, probably Hit right there because how he play, how his playstyle is. Android 16 and people are saying Beatrice right there, and then also Super Saiyan Vegeta right there, and then there's other characters which just because you know I, we don't know yet. Just because how early, the, early this game is right now. Mm -hmm. Says, okay, and afterwards, uh, let's let's go to the next topic right there, which is DLC rumors or basic data mine rumors for Dragon Ball Fighters. What I will bring it up in a second right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so one second, real quick. Hey, boss, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What up? Yeah, what do you think about the game so far? Um, pretty good game. I love it. Pretty good? 
Yeah, that's good, man. That's about it. I can't say anything more. Yeah, man, I, I don't blame me, man. Uh, the gameplay looks amazing, dude. All the fan service, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, basically, uh, this the this is what I saw at the for the data mine characters. This is what um some data miners found out, and what most likely are gonna be the eight DLC characters for the like uh, fight, the fighters pass that is gonna like uh, drop sometime in the future. Which obviously the standard duos is Brawly and Balrog, basically Super Saiyan Brawly, which is like the first ever known Super Saiyan and Barlock which is Goku's dad right there that uh basically died uh before he uh when he got sent over to Earth right there like a little, a little afterwards then movie fan favorite is Sambalaya which I um I don't know who he is right there I have to freaking look him up real quick uh he is the main antagonist from the movie Dragon Ball Z, Freezing Reborn. No, the, the, okay, oh, 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 the list you're reading? Yeah, uh, That's fake. What that is a fake list. Is it fake? Oh. Mm -hmm. The one with, uh, Janemba, Broly, Bardock, uh, Kefla. That is indeed fake. There is, however, one confirmed character. This is what, but... But we're not, this, these were like these were like data mine stuff. I mean, like these were. Oh no, mine. those are fake. Those were fake. Uh, other data miner uh, confirmed those were fake because he did, uh, data mined the game himself and showed uh, some things don't add up with the actual game, with how the characters are rep represented. But there's only one character that has been confirmed so far, and it was the data mining. And that is cooler. Uh, Freezer's brother is going to be the pl uh, playable. With oh, the DLC. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that one that one was most likely because that was actually a data mine voice line for the announcer right there. Yep. And that 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 one that one was obviously confirmed right there. But basically, these were data mine slash rumors right there. Obviously, they're rumors right there, so we can't confirm the real real fake. Yes, yeah. those are. Uh, I want to say these are rumors more so it's a fake data mine. So yeah, other than that, that's Well, we can, we can still talk about them right now, because obviously we can still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Says, uh, basically, um, uh, other tur uh, tournament of power newcomers is Kefla, Topo, and Jiren uh, right there. Uh, Topo right there, obviously, is supposed to be the new god of destruction for the universe, uh, universe 11, I think, right? Uh, Kefla, which is, um, uh, the, f I think the fusion, uh, Super Saiyan of the two female, like, uh, female warriors, I believe. I think so. Mm-hmm. No, 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 she's, no, she's not the fusion, I think she's just, no, no, she is the fusion, not mine. And then, uh, okay. And then we got Jiren right there, basically, is right now the, um, not the main antagonist right there, but basically the, like, one of the, one of the, the most powerful of, like, uh, p beings in the Dragon Ball Fighter universe, you know, Dragon Ball Super Universe right now. Uh -huh. And he is basically, basically very strong right now, and he... Basically, is very good right there. Okay, and then the next, the next, the next thing which is actually a little bit surprised me is Kid Goku for the Rhythm Dragon Ball, which that actually is actually pretty damn, wait, pretty damn interesting because he, like, he be like a little freaking Goku, obviously, but he's using his freaking ascending pole right there, and also probably using Nimbus right there to help help play right there. Which is actually that's a freaking interesting thing to actually for him to do. It's pretty sick. Yes. And then the other one right there is the most expected one right there, which is a wizard of character from Geno Versus 2, which is Fu, which obviously I don't believe that because who who like who the fuck is Fu? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like if you actually look at him right there, it's like like foo foo like, fucking looks so stupid right here. Can I see? Yeah, yeah he's a um, character. Yeah. 
Yeah, look, food looks so stupid right there. But I obviously like the hope like characters that I actually th think that people would actually want right there would probably be uh, Clefter, Topo, Jiren right there. Those people I would say that people would like to actually have those in there and also Bali Balak. Obviously, um Fan fan favorites. Fan favorites right there. And also like Kid Boo would probably be an interesting choice right there. Freaking people want freaking Videl as one of the purple characters. And like and like all the freaking uh and everyone wanted to freaking play as Bulma right there and that freaking art uh, like uh not falsified leak right there but that asked on the misinformation that um that the show had right there that you can play as Bulma <laughs> like in this game which would have been fucking awesome but obviously that would work right there because of things. Yeah. Pay pay. Well, well well my question is is uh what's Mrs. said? Meta Satan. Yes, that, that's the question right there. But same thing right there. Would would they actually figure out how to actually make him work right there? Because uh, unless they give him an ass or a gun, <laughs> he because he, he has to use the gun. He has to use a gun against uh, I think uh, mm -hmm. against a certain uh, against a certain. Oh, uh, he used to get against uh, Super Bowl right there. Or no. It was Mazen and Super Boo right there, where he joined uh, Gotenks right there and became Mazen and Super Boo, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, it's definitely pretty interesting how uh, how how this thing is here. But, obviously, right there, we don't know if these characters, if these data mines were real or not, because obviously, right there, he, he that is, that could be right, right there, because we also got a real freaking, uh, like, leak right there on our hands with that cooler Leak, which actually is definitely pretty cool, but we don't know if these things are real or not. But um, we'll find out in the future, Sohan. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, it says basically. Uh, it says other things right now. Well, I think the last thing right now we're probably going to go to is other fighting game, fighting game news right now. But um, couple things did ha couple things happen right there. What's uh, uh. The Ninja Turtles got announced uh, a few weeks ago right there for uh, the for the game right there. And they're going to be coming playable next week, I believe. Pepperoni. Yep. And and I saw that um, like M, like MC or Game uh, 650 right there released a new version of Parsec Mobile 2, which um, I haven't had a chance to check out yet. Uh, it's not, it's not an, um, think of it as a... It's Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Omega Mode. Okay, okay. So okay. Yeah, yeah but so basically, like, it's more broken right there. <laughs> yeah, it's basically like, uh... Heroes and think Heroes. of uh, Marvel 3 had Omega Mode. Uh, oh, you're gonna 4. say Heroes and Heralds. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I mean... Eh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, let's see, other thing, let's see, any other news at all besides, you know, like, um, other things? Um, uh, Gifty Gear, Gifty Gear got a new update. Uh, yeah, yeah Gifty Gear's gonna get a new update in March, uh, yep, called the Re-Evolved Patch. Yeah, that's true right there. Um, hmm. Um, uh, don't think it. I mean, there's uh, Cross Tag Battle that yeah. comes out in June 5th for us in the States. So does that. Uh, uh, I, I, think, I think that's it. Oh, oh, oh. No, there is something oh, important. Uh, in some days, uh, Fighting EX Lair is going to get a huge announcement. Oh. oh. Or, okay. Cool. Yeah. So there's going to be something like that. It might be along the lines of release date, too. Something like that. Okay. But yeah, uh, that's something to look out for. And uh, let me. Okay. No, I think that's it. I think, uh, I think all the... Yeah. Oh yeah, there's uh okay, there's other things like that where um for the big uh, big like, issue with um cross tag battle right there is that instead of having the two DLC characters, the Ruby characters being DLC, like you know, you have to pay for them. They're free. They're, They're free DLC be... for all time. Free. They're never gonna be uh paid yeah. for. They're yeah, not gonna be paid for pay for. So that means when the game gets released right there, after like a couple weeks right there, they're they're gonna be released as DLC for free right there. So anyone that mm. buys the game will get those two characters for free. And whenever you want. Whenever you buy the game now, uh whenever you buy Cross Tag Battle, if it's next year you'll still be able to download them for free. They're not removing them as free DLC. Yep. That's good. 
Yeah. But yeah, in terms of the DLC plans, we do not know what they're going to be doing with that, but yeah, just stay tuned, because uh, there's also going to be a new stream for Cross Tag Battle, where they're going to announce some of the DLC characters, so okay. watch out for that. Uh, or uh, the Arxis stream. Yep. But, and that's all I can think of off the top of my head now. I think that's it for now. Yep. Yeah, well, yeah, I think that actually probably be a good time to start with it because that's really all the news that I think we know, we've like, known about for the last couple of weeks, and the big, and we had the big talk about Marvel not being at Evo right there, uh, mm -hmm. talk about Evo 2018, and then we're talking about Dragon Ball Fighters. Well, I'm gonna say that this is a good time to end the stream for now. I uh, mean, not the stream right there, I mean the end of the podcast for now. It says, well, so I am flying high. I'm Shaco, man. I'm Balzar. Bebo 15. Um, I'm Zerms right there. Jeezy Vest right there. Obviously left a little while ago. So mm -hmm. I would say I'm Zerms and this is TSC Combos and we see you next time. See you guys. Right, see you guys.